about the Austin Pro today. I'm going to be comparing iOS 3 to iOS 6. 3.1.3 and 6.6. This is one thing I've never done before. About both of them. 3.1.3. Let me get make sure my camera's adjusted here. 3.1.3 and 6.6. On the iPhone 2G and the iPhone 3GS. So a few differences here is that the it has a slight difference on the dock. The dock is on the iPhone 3, iOS 3 is like kind of up like this, like iOS 7 is, but on iOS 6 is like a 3D, 3D dock from the iOS 3.2. Next thing is the App Store looks different. On the status bar, it no longer turns to a separate color, it stays black like the home screen does. In the F iOS 6, you have more like genius on the bottom now in top charts. You have this up here instead of four little icons like the 2G got, has right here. And iOS 6 is much faster than this. On iOS 6, you have top charts. In, in iOS 3, you have, you have category in the top 25. And then with the loads here, because in, in, on the 2G, you have new and genius. Nothing like this. And then it has these five, four little things right here, not like the 2G and the little redesign of all of them. On this one, it's three separate categories. On this one, it's just scrolling down. And you put the device down, then go zoom in a little bit and adjust everything. Next up is, is the calculator icon. The icon of the calculator looks a tad different right here. The maps, too. Let me cover some up so I won't show my location by mistake. Let me zoom out here. There, got that and make sure it doesn't happen. So I zoomed out just enough so you wouldn't see my location by mistake. So apparently, if you here the maps on iOS 3, have these little bars on the bottom right here that says search and directions. The search and directions in a little page here that comes up. You say drop pin or map, satellite, hybrid, or list. Now iOS 6, if this report a problem, drop in, print, show traffic, list results, and standard hybrid and satellite. That's all it is. On iOS 6, you're, you're no longer going to see these search and directions here. It's all up here now. In iOS 6, you have the little, trans, the other little root button here for your recent searches on this one you don't have that and on this one it's powered by Apple on this one it's powered by Google pretty interesting the, the I'm gonna find some else here like like they look sort of different like the photos here Nile 6 you got places on the bottom Nile 3 do not Now if you're in iOS 6, you have a little edit button right here. On iOS 3, you don't have that. You just have a share button right here instead. On here, you hit edit. You can edit your photos from here. On iOS 3, you cannot do that. Pretty interesting, actually. So let me find my wallpaper I used here. So here are my wallpaper that I used. When you go to share sheet, it's a little different on iOS 3. On iOS 3, I have email, mobile me, sign me, contact, use wallpaper. On iOS 6, you got mail, Twitter, Facebook, contacts, print, copy, and use the wallpaper. Now the camera. The cameras look a little different too, as you see that. On iOS 6, you have these, like a video recording button and, and a little bomb bar right here, and up the top you got options. On iOS 3, you don't have that. On iOS 3, you can't zoom in on any photos. On iOS 6, you can zoom in. Zoom zooming on the photos didn't come to iOS 4. Then iOS 6, you got reminders and passbook and newsstand. On this one, you don't have any of that. And the iPod here. The iPod app does look different. The music apps and the iPod. On here, you only have videos and songs combined. On this one, you just have music, like the iPod Touch has. And a few other things that look different the volume bars. We play move the volume controls are different right here. On iOS 3, it's blue and white. On this one, it's all silver. Same for the top row here. 
exactly sound, but no genius like you have in this one, but nothing like that in here. You still have the little menu options right here. Now on this one, you don't have you do not have airplay. On this one, you do. And on this one, you have no button shapes up here on the, on the little back button like you do on iOS three. And in iOS six, when you double click the home button, you get to your app switcher. In iOS three, when you double click, it'll just take you right to your music. In iOS six, you have orientation lock. It's pretty cool. That was there in iOS four too. And volume controls and airplay right from here. And a few things that are similar. They both have spotlight search. But on this one, you have no emojis, which this one does. And I'll show you another video how to get emojis on iOS 4. Another video. And the calendar app is different too. See, so on iOS 6, you have a little button down here. In iOS 6, you can turn your calculator to landscape mode. Which in iOS 3, you cannot do that. Pretty interesting. And when we go into settings, the iOS 3 toggle is a little different, like in the notes app. We get down to notes. See, in iOS 3, you have no note settings. In iOS 6, you do. It's pretty interesting, actually. And a few other things that I want to show you, like it's on the keyboard. On the numbers. On this, on iOS 3, you don't have as many keys like this one. As if can already tell, my iOS 6 has a few more keys than iOS 3 does. In iOS 3, it's a little different. Just a tad, I'm not sure. It's kind of cool. That's really cool, actually. So that, that's iOS 3 compared to iOS 6. So that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It's the next video. Peace.